He is the head of the body, the assembly, who is the beginning, firstborn from among the dead, that he might have the first place in all things. Colossians 1, 18. Christ the head of the body. Till Jesus had ascended, there was no one in heaven who could be head of the body. When man in the person of the Son went through death into the glory of God, he was set at God's right hand in the heavenlies, above every principality and authority and power and dominion, and every name named, not only in this age, but also in that to come. Then it was that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, gave him to be head over all things to the assembly, which is his body. Here then we are definitely taught that it was in Christ, in ascension, that we have the first idea of the head of the body, till which time there could have been no members formed on earth. Ephesians 1, 19-23 nor in point of fact could the body be formed till the coming of the Holy Spirit, which the Ascended One received from the Father and shed forth, because we are told that it is in the power of one Spirit we have all been baptized into one body, 1 Corinthians 12:13. We could not therefore scripturally speak of Christ as head of the assembly in the days of his flesh, or when he died, or when he rose again. Neither could we speak of him as our risen head, but we can look up to him where he now is, and there know among many other glories that he who died for our sins and rose again for our justification, who is our life, our righteousness and peace, is the head of his body, the assembly. For such grace we cannot but praise God. H. H. Schnell. Ascended now in glory bright, life-giving head thou art, nor life, nor death, nor depth, nor height, thy saints and thee can part. J. G. Deck.